So yeah. again. I think I know what it told me about it, but ye. Ye. Squishy hand. Ye. 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 I made the stupid I've decision. Go. No! Bye, Robin. Yeah, hey, I got work Robin. in the morning. That's nice a move. you all. See I you. hope I'll see you at some point in the next four weeks before I before I leave for the summer. That's a Good lucky, luck man. at your... Bye. Uh, Bye. See you. Bye. Bye. Final suck. See you guys. See you. <laughs> I made the stupid they... decision a while back to buy a vinyl record. Even though I don't have a vinyl player. God. Well, save your money if you get it. Yeah. yeah, I'm getting a normal Crosby, considering the fact that most people are like, Oh, why would you get a Crosby? They're so cheap. Um, have you seen how much it costs to get your own vinyl player? And yeah, everybody's everybody says that it damages your uh, disc and everything. But if it really does damage your disc, there would have been so many more complaints that they wouldn't be allowed to distribute their copies. He, not yeah. only that. What? Yeah, I thought you went. Uh, already went to the gym. I, uh, had to answer a message from work. Oh. But I'm going now. Okay. But, yeah. No, I just, it smelt like a tequila with me. Playing Mario 64. <laughs> yeah. Mario 64. Okay, that's Toad. I know how much you love Toad. <laughs> I like Toad from Mario Kart. Yeah, from Mario Kart 64, but not, like, ever since Game Boy Advance era. It sounded so constipated. Oh, I love Mind if I have one? Go ahead. Damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it. No, 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 no. Ah. Oh. Why did they put the star up there? What are you doing? I th uh, because some of the group chats in Discord has the same color. I was like, that's not the oh. old group chat we had with the roommate. No, it's not. Okay. No, it isn't. Anyways, I love you. Have a good stream. All right. People, donate to Brett. Give him money. Oh, I've already got some money donated, finally. Oh, really now? Yeah. Even more money. Awesome. One, two, three, Even four, more. five. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, as I was going to say, no, the problem with vinyl records is that this is something that Dankpods kind of mentioned in his video about vinyls, is the fact that if you're going to try to use your money to get vinyl players, you're going to be in for a fucking huge amount of spending. Like around maybe a thousand or two thousand dollars, especially if you need the specific right equipment to get the biggest high quality sound for your record. In comparison to a Crosby, where you can just pay like maybe a hundred forty and just be like, open it, stop the record, play it. There you go. It even has its own speaker. Oh, Golden. Yes. Have you seen the Steel Book uh, for uh, the Sonic Two yet? Yeah, it looks pretty nice. They should do I one for it. like they should do one for like both of the entries. They're actually, I'm like I'm kind of waiting first until they like because I know that they're working on a Sonic Three. Oh, like, have I them, mean, like, have it like at some point in the next couple of years, like have it in some kind of like special collector's edition where they're like all in one. Oh, imagine if they did in the style of of the of the original game uh, uh, Gen covers and shit. Oh, you mean like a Genesis case or something? Yeah, oh, like, they're all in, like, 1, 2, and 3 themed from the Genesis era. That would be pretty fucking cool. Yeah. It's like how, like, Stranger Things box comes in a thing that looks like a VHS. VHS, yeah. Oh, yeah, I remember yeah. that. Well, I know which movie we, we have to eventually see at one point. Well, I need to see at one point. The bad guys? Well, besides that one, it's... the Northman now. Oh, I've been hearing a lot of things about that one. The North good. just sounds good. I mean, consider the fact that it's directed by Roger Egers, who did The Lighthouse and The Witch, or as it's or as it's mostly known, The Witch. No, I've been meaning to see that one, and I'm curious about The Northman too. Yeah, the which one? The Witch and The Northman. The The Witch is good. Both. Oh, yeah, the both. Witch is fantastic. I know Roger Eager mentioned a while back that he can't look at the movie these days because he feels that it's way too flawed. But I still consider it to be a really good debut for him as a director. I mean, any creator probably feels... I, mean, I feel that about my older videos Dude, versus my newer videos. Even I, feel that, even I feel that way. Even I feel that way with, um, like, my Magic Shoot video or Returning to Pride Rock. Like, I could have said it better. There's some things I got grammatically incorrect. Hmm. Okay. 
Understand. Like, what, what was... Uh, who was the animator that w that said when he was asked, "What is your favorite animated film that By you've made?" And he key, always went like, more. "My next one." <laughs> Thank you, Star, <laughs> again for the donation. I have met 163. Wow, that's a lot. You guys are nuts. <laughs> Yay! Yes. Squish to Jesse. Hey. It's funny. <laughs> <laughs> God, this still makes me laugh. What? what? You annoy <laughs> no, I'm not gonna put it. <laughs> um, I can't use my fucking right hand that much. It's not that fun. Oh, there's no, um... Damn it. Do I have to, like, legitimately... Yeah, I do. I have to legitimately find... You, fuck off. I have to like work my way up there with the uh, the vanish cap on. Hmm. That's not going to be easy. That's no good. Oh god, that old thing. You know, it's funny. I never watched the Sad I Am cartoon, but I did watch the Adventures of Sonic the Hedgehog with oh, the fucking. I only know the meme. Yeah. Ah, oh, damn it. I think the Adventures of Sonic was on, like, Toon Disney or some shit. And there's no uh, Sad AM? I, I never saw Sad AM when I was a kid. Okay, like, I was aware of it, but I didn't see it until I found, like, it was an easy access to it online. And it was, like, it was one of the best cartoon shows I've watched. Like, I would have loved to have grown up with it. Like, I've heard people say that Sonic Sad AM was a really good series, and unfortunately it was one of the worst examples of network just going eh, we're not going to continue it despite the fact that it had a very good good storyline they cancelled it because um, of the competition with Power Rangers oh, oh that's right that did happen yeah Which funny is... enough I have, I have an appreciation for Power Rangers and yet they funny. made Sonic Underground oh god yeah. do, not, do not remind me of Sonic Underground my nephews actually like that can I make a confession? Yes. What? Some of my formative years involved Sonic Underground. And uh, that was during the time I didn't actually hate it that much. I mean, to be fair, I can see it has some charm to it. I mean, there is some sort of intrigue, I guess, to it. But at the same time, when you really just get down to watch it, you're like, Oh, wow, this is, um, this isn't good. It shows its age. It shows the fact that it's a 90s product. Oh, it's kind of like... Me. It's kind of like, uh... What was it? Um, I love this pun. I love this one. Pardon, <laughs> me, for, for, pardon me for finishing the sentence, but it's kind of like how Quack Pack came out to be. Yes. Yeah. It is funny. I never watched Quack Pack, but I did watch the Mighty Ducks. Mighty Ducks was okay. I mean, I it had fucking Tim Mighty Curry... Ducks. And Tony J in the same series playing bad guys. I, I I was obligated. I was obligated. I don't remember much of Mighty Ducks, but I do ignore uh, Quack Pack. All I do know is that people did not like Quack Pack because no! it tried to be way too oh. radical and cool by having the having Huey Dewey and Louie as like young teenagers. I guess. I mean, if you're gonna do it, at least have good writing. Yeah. Yeah. It, it kind of reminds me a little bit of Rocket Power as well, even though I actually don't find Rocket Power to be that bad. A lot of pe like a lot of people hated on that one for the very same reason. It's just, oh, it's so stereotypical and everything. Like it's trying to be the cool kid or something. It's like, well, just maybe some people take joy in that. Yeah, I thought it was. I thought it was actually pretty good. It wasn't perfect, mind you, but it's a serviceable Nicktoon, so. I remember there was uh, some kind of special where there was a uh, spring break going on and Otto was being very uh, rebellious and multiple times he was being grounded by his dad. Very tired boy, remember, but I feel like don't remember even... how hype. Remember how hype uh, Race Across New Zealand was as a kid? I think um, I remember. They, that was the Rocket Power special. By the way, Nick, thank you for the donation. 
I think I remember it. I wasn't it also the the same story. Wasn't it also the special where Otto's dad was going to get married or something like that? Yeah, it was in like Hawaii. They had this whole thing with Otto not being happy about it and having to yeah, do with their mom. Yeah, because it's revealed that he missed. That he's still very upset about his mom's passing or something a lot or something like that. Yeah, I remember that. I like that episode. I mean, it. I I I would still watch it because I nostalgia goggles and shit. But yeah, <laughs> it's not a perfect show. But by all means, it's not. It's like not the worst thing that Nickelo that Nickelodeon ever made. No, that shoe beans. Sorry. I I don't know if Nickelodeon made this or not. But you guys ever heard of Mega Babies? Oh god! Oh, 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 oh god! That no, was no, one no, of no, the no. most disgusting shows I ever watched. Like it just relied only on gross, hu like gross out humor. It's I like liked it as a kid, but even then, I think it was more the art style for anything. And I it's don't know. it's it's I more like it's like home movies gone really really bad. I mean, I it, like home movies. Home movies has I mean, a charm going for it. I yeah. Like there was home, like, like this creator of that would later do uh, what's it called uh, something burgers. Uh, Bob's, Bob's burgers. Bob's burgers yeah. No, no, I don't think it has the same creator, but it does have H. John Benjamin. And I think if I remember correctly, one of the people who was involved in home movies also was all was um Brandon, Brandon Smalls, Small. who went off to go do Metalocalypse. Yep. And who, and even though he ended up losing the rights to Metal Metalocalypse, he would later on do his own band called Galacicon, which kind of is a spiritual successor to Metal Metalocalypse. Or at least the second album of that project. Hmm. Because fucking Adult Swim just had to be like, yeah, we're gonna screw you over, we're just gonna cancel your show, Whoa! even though you had like, a very good finale plan. I always... I mean... Adult Swim, the early days, it was mostly home movies that I would watch on, like, what was, what was the other one? Baby Blues, I think, and shit. I mm. think so. I don't remember. What about More Oral? More Oral was later, I think. Oh, uh, okay. Like, oh, I, I, Harvey Birdman, especially. Yeah. I know that Key has uh, been somewhat into a Moral Oral. Like, like, funny enough, every time I saw clips of that, I was like, are you watching Robot Chicken? No, Brad, not every show is, like, stop motion and action figures. <laughs> <laughs> so, like, Oral... Because here's... I've watched clips... I've watched a bit of clips of more Oral. Essentially, the show itself is pretty much... What's the name of it? BoJack Horseman before BoJack Horseman. It is such a dark and depressing satire... But a lot of people will agree that the messages it has are damn good. Because essentially it's about a young boy, like, you see the world through the eyes of a young boy named Oral, who lives in a very Christian town under the thumb of his very, very shitty and abusive father and his um, kind of absent-minded mother. Yikes. Yeah, his father's kind of a piece of shit too. Um, and like at the same time, you feel sympathy for the dad because there is explanation for why why he's the way he is. But even then, you're still like you are still a piece of shit, and you deserve everything that happens to you. I remember watching oh, a scene like because I saw a clip where he's at a he's at a bar or something like that, and he's talking about his life, and he he goes through a meltdown saying that after all of his problems, he says it'll happen over and over and over and over, and eventually like. The bartender's like, okay, that's enough. No, you don't understand! Why do I keep hitting that corner? How precise do I have to be to get across and hit the goddamn tree? Fuck! Jeez. Jeez. Oh, then there's Venture Brothers. What I, I, I love I, Venture I Brothers. Remember. I love everything I've seen of Venture Brothers. I just never sat down and watched it fully, but like every time an episode popped up, I enjoyed it. I've only seen, like, one or two, though. He was just dead. He's fine now. <laughs> no, I, I remember, remember... I showed you that clip and you... <laughs> yeah, no, I remember, Riley, when you were roommating with us, and you would turn on the TV, and you would put on Venture Brothers, and I saw little bits and pieces of it. Yeah. Like, oh, okay. No, um, yeah, that's where I saw it, too, was yeah, at he... your house all those years ago. 
Yeah, I'm trying to think also, it was years ago. Yeah, and it was also a thanks to Riley that I was introduced to home movies because I never heard of it until he put it on. Oh yeah, I love these series. The early days of Adult Swim. God, man. God, there's... When I felt so edgy, staying up past nine. <laughs> no, there was uh, because there was a there was a scene because I had quite the impression of it. Uh, it was a terrifying scene. Uh, and Riley found it hilarious. Uh, the coach has a heart attack. And, oh, it, like, God. you see it in the action. Like, you see, like, the unusual yep. feelings on the wrist, and it's like, oh, he's gonna have a heart attack. I'm like, oh, fuck. Are they seriously doing this? Oh, God. Like, I was ready to piss myself <laughs> in fear. <laughs> I do remember that that show had a weird, like, running gag that there was a dude who was apparently David Bowie, but it was revealed that it was just the dude who really likes being into David Bowie. Oh yeah. Like I, think, like I remember, there's a scene where I do. I think they're about to pull a cigarette out, and the David Bowie's head just comes out, going, "Hello, I am David Bowie." Didn't they like? Uh, didn't like Monstroso think that the real form of the Sovereign was like one of the Diamond Dogs from the Diamond Dogs album cover or something? I think. I know there's also a reference to Bowie's Station to Station character. They went, "Oh look, it's the thin white douche." <laughs> Uh, adventure bros man didn't they get cancelled too because Adult Swim decided oh fuck you well they are doing a movie and hopefully that gives them enough interest that they'll continue the series is my hope hopefully yeah I'm gonna also commit um, blasphemy and say Ouch. that I never found Aqua Teen Hunger Force to be funny Aqua there's Team... certain episodes I love. Yeah, like, to Aqua Team Hunger Force has a certain audience for it. Like, I know that it's there, it has a following. Um, I saw, like, a few of its episodes, like, eh, I could see, like, the appeal behind it. Um, what? Ow, shit. It's like, I don't mind it. I mean, I will admit, I did sit down for a couple episodes, and I was like, eh, this is actually not that bad. It's weird it's a little bit funny and i do like master shake and a meat wad and carl is the best character but eh, no ah. i just didn't find it that appealing but i was kind of surprised that it went on for fucking 12 seasons is robot chicken That's... still going robot chicken is still going okay so aqua tia monker for still has some competition yeah and apparently they're bringing it back too aqua wait what Aqua, yeah. Where'd Wasn't it, like, their longest-running series? Yeah. Actually, no, they're not bringing it back. They're making another movie. Ah. For Aqua Teen. How I think my favorite... Ep I think my favorite episode is probably one of their darkest, and that's the Ham Banana episode. Oh, God. The Ham Banana. Tonight, you. <laughs> it's so dark. It's so dark. Ah, damn it. Uh, this one's gonna get a little tricky, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, 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 I almost had it! Damn it! Okay, I have an I like, okay, so I have an idea nailed down. Just, oh my god, it's so much timing. Ah, <sighs> I'm back. Hey, welcome back. I, um, at the recommendation of one of the other friends, I was thinking about possibly streaming some of my childhood games since I bought a lot of them on Steam. I might finance a streaming rig. Not sure. I'll see. I'll see how my current PC is after I upgrade it. By the way, sorry about the random subject change. Like it too. Uh, you are garbage. You're fucking garbage.